What's going on YouTube? It's your boy SRT Rand here and we're filming another YouTube video on the SRT 392. We're just gonna do a review on it right now. We're gonna do a review on how it lasts for 64,000 miles and we're gonna see how it, like all the pros and cons and all that, what I like, what I dislike about it. And yeah, let's get into it. First things first, I did buy the car at 34,000 miles. 30, not 39,000 miles actually. And I do daily drive this car. This is my daily driver. I drive it from LA to the AZ, not to Arizona all the time, but it has been there. So the things that I've noticed that kind of, you know, are a little iffy that kind of get me about the car is first things I want to say is when you when you have these cars for a minute, I know this side isn't doing it personally, but let me go on that side and show you. It kind of stretches the leather is what I was told. Not what I was told, but it's what I noticed about it. That's what it did. It stretched the leather. So let me see right here. As you can notice on the car, it kind of comes up at, a, at an angle right there. The leather's kind of stretched. I don't have like a better angle to show you, but you know, you can kind of see that. That was one of the cons about this car. The other con about this car that, you know, it's just iffy. I don't know really about it was the brakes. Depending, I know it probably just depends on your mechanic, but I know for a fact what I had a problem with was sometimes when the weather is hot like it is right now the brakes start to squeak and you know it's all personal preference yeah you know it gets annoying you have like this nice car and then you're you pull up to the light or something and the brakes start to squeak that's kind of you know horrible a hit or miss you know depending on you know who you are the person if you don't care i know sometimes it doesn't bother me but then here and there you know it starts to bother me but for it being at 64,000 miles, the engine and everything runs like a beauty, like a whole beauty. Like, you know, no Hemi ticks, no nothing. You know, the 392 Hemi, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful car. And you know, like I said, this is my daily driver. I drive this thing back and forth all the time to work and whatnot. And you know, this car's actually really, 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 really good. If you were to ask me, if you personally were to ask me, I think the car goes really good and it's a real beautiful car. And you know, I don't really have too much complaints about it. Like I know some people will complain, like if you were to slide a lot, you know, your tires probably go, go bald or whatever. But you know, eh, I had these tires for like 10 months, you know, I used to slide my Challenger RT a lot. But personally, I don't really slide this one a lot. But yeah, other than that, other than those three things that I just named, I really do not see, how do you want to say it? I really do not see um, a problem with this car. Other than all the three things that I named, I really do not see a problem with this car, honestly. This car, it runs beautifully. It sounds beautifully. And you know, not really too many people originally have the original srt 392 a lot of people usually call their srt 392 a scat pack or you know they say i have a scat but it's an srt 392 but it doesn't work out like that you know this is a 2018 last year before they did discontinue this car so i cannot complain on that at all like i'm trying to honestly think if there's any more things that I have that I don't like about the car and I really cannot I cannot think of it honestly like you know oh one more thing yes 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 I did lie about that one more thing let me let me show you let me let me get around let me put this hood down let me show you when I first bought the car I tested everything like the control centers this blah 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 the SRT pages seeing all that I tested everything Everything was tested, but as soon as I got onto the freeway, let me tell you, the screen started glitching like no other. I have a 
insert video that I'm going to put in that shows you how bad it was glitching. But man, when I say it was glitching, it was no fun. I had to take it back to the dealer like three or four times just for them to get it handled, get it situated. But luckily, I didn't have to pay anything out of pocket. So that is good there. But just be on the lookout when you're getting these 8.4 Uconnect systems. They might have a little glitching, a little fumbleness to it. But yeah, just be on the lookout for that. Now, let's get into the things I love about this car. All right. So one of my main, main, main features that I love about this car that you cannot replace would be these beautiful brown seats right here. The leather peanut butter interior. Oh, baby, let me tell you, I love these seats so much. These are a night and day difference from the Alcantara seats or the regular cloth seats. And I come from having cloth seats and I thought that's what, that's what was as best as it gets. But no, sir, I was wrong. These brown seats, they will always have a special place in my heart because they are the most beautiful seats ever. One of the best things, the best things about this car, if it even didn't have, you know, all the sound, all the V8, Hemi, you know, all that. If I could just have these brown seats, man, I would take that any day, any day of the week. Another thing that I love about this car is a beautiful SRT steering wheel. I feel like, man, it's, it's way better than the regular Dodge logo steering wheel just to have a little Hellcat features, even though, you know, it's not a Hellcat. You know, it still was a beautiful touch that Dodge did. I like how they thought about it and they said, okay, we're gonna put this in the car, even though it's not like, you know, a Hellcat, but it is considered a SRT. So that's one thing I would say I love about, two things actually I love about the car real much besides the sound besides the sound oh that is a it's beautiful beautiful right now i'm about to get some sound clips for you guys and while i'm driving a little quick pov and talk about a little other things that i love about it but yeah and this like i said this one's gonna be a pretty quick video because you know i'm just getting straight to the point straight to the nitty gritty about what i like and you know what i don't like and the review on a 64,000 mile 2018 srt 392 yeah, let's get back. sounding V8s out there. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's see. Woo -hoo! This car right here, you cannot beat it. Especially the downshifts. You cannot beat it. Beautiful. Love this car just mainly, if it, including the brown seats, but mainly just for that reason is the way this baby sounds. This baby sounds so, so good. Like, man, like, I just can't get enough of it. Like, I'm literally addicted to the way this, this baby sounds. Like, this is literally a beautiful sounding car. Beautiful, beautiful. And I, I couldn't really ask for anything better. Like 
this is a real really really beautiful sounding car but yeah those are you know my little pros and cons my little what i don't like and what i like about the car and that's pretty much mainly if i'm gonna be honest pretty much 